paediatricians from Timor are upskilling in Darwin as part of a new partnership with the Australian Government to improve child health in the developing nation. It comes amid criticism of Timor's government's cutting of health spending by 20%. Sky News reporter Dan Borsha travelled to Dili with the National Critical Care and Trauma Response Centre and he filed this report. This newborn baby girl struggling to breathe. She'll be on antibiotics as well. <coughs> the condition easily treated elsewhere, but difficult here with minimal infrastructure. There's a, a, an enormous amount of unmet needs in Timor uh, that we can't uh, deal with. We have a major challenge to train paediatricians to work in this hospital and also to work in district hospitals. It's among a litany of challenges. It is the poorest country outside of Africa and about the ninth poorest country in the uh, poverty index. With some signs of improvement. Timor has made enormous progress in terms of some of the outcomes such as infant mortality and uh, uh, child mortality. Um, but it does take time. Many hopes hinging on a new Australia-Timor-Leste collaboration. Paediatricians uh, in Timor-Leste are few and there are, is a really great opportunity through the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons program to train more paediatricians for the country. An invaluable chance to upskill for two Timorese doctors. This is a big opportunity for me and my friend uh, because this is uh, a chance for us to learn about uh, probably uh, advanced uh, medicine in Australia. That collaboration is expected to extend for Australian doctors soon being based for a time here in Dili. But there's been criticism from a senior medical professional about a significant cut to the health budget here in Timor-Leste, which is expected to have detrimental effects here at the National Hospital. There are constraints that are very frustrating. Uh, the health budget is, has been reduced by 20% and was already inadequate, so we're short of drugs and short of staff nursing staff and uh, uh, other supplies, uh, things are a little bit disorganised. So yes, there are frustrations. Dan Borsha, Sky News, Dilly.